Hi, I'm Mr. C, the teacher, and this is my classroom. Over the years, I've created hundreds of lessons in every subject area. So grab your tools for school and join in with us, or sit back and just watch. And let's go on a learning journey together, because you're watching Lessons from the Classroom. Well, let's take a look at what the topic for today's episode is going to be about. All right, in today's lesson, we're going to be doing some spelling. When it comes to spelling for the early grades, kindergarten, grade one, the best way to teach spelling is through word family endings. That simply means that all of the words in our spelling list, and I usually do six words, will all end in the same ending. They'll all have that rhyme to them. This helps children especially learn about short vowel sounds. Some of my spelling words might contain a long vowel, but in most cases, short vowels. So why teach word family endings for spelling? Well, a knowledge of word family endings helps children build vocabulary. Students will therefore be able to recognize words that rhyme and will be able to create words that are in the same word family. A spelling program that works on learning about word family endings not only develops basic spelling skills, but also helps to develop reading and writing. So, when I teach spelling, I do it with two different methods. One method for teaching students spelling in the classroom is simply to have the students take a workbook, and I like the workbooks that are half lined and half picture area. And if you can get the books with the interspersed lines, that's even better. I then just simply have students copy the six words and add a picture, along with their date and their title. Often they'll copy those words either from the board or from maybe a monitor like what's behind me. But another method I use, especially with the younger children, is simply to print off the word family ending with my computer in a nice large font, making sure I leave a space here with which to add the different beginnings to. I like to take the paper and I just simply slide it into a plastic sleeve to protect it. And then with some Play-Doh or Silly Putty or maybe even slime, you can then shape letters to go right over top and add the letter that goes at the beginning. I usually get kids to take their Play-Doh or Silly Putty, or whatever, that's homemade or store-bought, to take chunks of it, roll it between their hands to make what I call snakes. And then with some snakes, they can simply cover over top of the letters till they have the word ending covered and then form different letters for the beginning. And this is great for children who are younger or children that have fine motor skills and difficulties holding a pencil. You know, I love being surrounded by great books because one of my favorite things to do is to read stories. So let's make some time right now and read a storybook. This is story time. Word Family Tales. EEP makes the sound EEP. To sleep, count sheep. When the night is long and you can't sleep, just lie in bed and count some sheep. One sheep in a jeep. Two sheep in a traffic jam. Two sheep in a traffic jam. Beep, beep, beep. Three sheep sit and weep. Four sheep dust and sweep. 
Five sheep visit little Bo Peep. Six sheep in the ocean deep. Seven sheep on a hill that's steep. Eight sheep quietly creep. Nine sheep feeding chickens. Cheep, cheep, cheep. Ten sheep fast asleep. Eep word family riddles. Listen to the riddle sentences. Add the right letter or letters to the eep sound to finish each one. Sometimes at night it is hard to sleep. Number two. When falling asleep it helps to count sheep. Number three. It's fun to drive around in a jeep. Number four. When you honk a horn, it makes a loud beep. Number five. Another word for cry is weep. Number six. Jack and Jill climbed a hill that was really steep. Number seven. If it's time to clean, use a broom to sweep. Number eight, don't swim out that far. The water is too deep. Number nine, these books are not for giving away. They are to keep. And number 10, the sound a baby chick makes is a cheep. Eep cheer. Give a great holler, a cheer, a yell for all the words that we can spell with an E, E, and P that makes the sound EEP. You'll find it in Jeep and Sheep and Sleep. Three little letters, that's all we need to make a whole family of words to read. Well, let's take a look at this week's words and stretch them out. That's where we're going to say the word and then say each sound that's in the word. Let's start with the word deep. Put our fist here and we say the word deep. And then we sound out or stretch out each sound in that word. And it looks like this. D, E, P. Let's do it again. Deep, D, E. That has the long E sound in it. The E goes E. Let's do the next word. Jeep. J, E, P. Good. This one has an extra sound. Sweep. S, W, E, P. Four sounds that time, because we had an S, W blend. Let's try the next word. Weep. W. Eep. Weep. The next word is sleep. Let's do that one. That's got an extra sound as well. Sleep. S-l-e-p. Four sounds. Sleep. Let's do the next word. Sheep. Now that has a digraph in it that goes sh. And we have eep. So let's do that one more time. Sheep, sh, e, p. So for today's spelling ending, we have e, e, p, which makes the sound eep, eep. Got my Play-Doh, so let's start covering the letters. Okay, there we go. We've got our eep word. Okay, there we go. We've got our eep ending. We've got our eep ending. Let's put some letters in front.
And if I put the letter D in front, I have the word deep, deep. If I put the letters S and L in front, I got sl sleep, go to sleep. If I put the letter W in front, I've got weep, weep. That's another word for crying, weep. <laughs> if I put an S in front of our W, we've got the word sweep, sweep with a broom to sweep. Work, 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 my job's never done. If I put an SH in front, I've got sh, sh, sheep, sheep, ba. Huh? Oh, what? Oh, who did that? Was that him? If I place the letter J in front, I've got the word Jeep, Jeep. What words can you make from EEP? All right, this week we're working on the word family ending EEP, and that's spelled E-E-P. So that'll be our title, EEP. And put the date up at the top for whatever day it happens to be for you today. Let's number six numbers for our six words. So down this edge, one, two and three, leave lots of space. And we can find the middle of our page and judge that or you can fold the page. And with that fold line, you can see where to put four, five and six. I'm gonna draw a line for our mystery letters. That's gonna come right after each number because each one of these is gonna have some different letters. But the ending for all six words will be the same. It's the EEP word family. So let's write in E, E, P after each line. And last one for number six, E, E, P, EEP. Let's take a look at the words for this week. So EEP words can include words like deep, jeep, sweep, weep, that's to, to cry, sleep, sheep, or a word like steep, the mountain was steep, or little bow, peep, to make a peep is to make a sound. Okay, let's go ahead and copy in our six words. So word number one is deep, deep. I need a D for my mystery letter. D, deep. Word number two is Jeep, type of vehicle. I need a J for Jeep. J, 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 Jeep, Jeep. For word number three, I need the consonant blend that goes S, W. S, W is gonna go sw, sw. Sweep, sweep, like the sweep of the broom. For number four, I need the letter W. W, w, weep. To weep is to cry. Number five, I need the consonant blend S, L. S, L goes sl, sl, sleep. To sleep at night in bed, sleep. And number six, we need the digraph S, H, which makes the sound sh, sh, as in sheep. Sheep, great, we just need a picture of something. I think I'll draw a picture of a, of a sheep. And a nice round nose here, and a couple of googly eyes, a little pair of ears, his fluffy head, and of course he's got a, a fluffy round body. Little tail. Looks like a little bit of a lopsided sheep here. Maybe make them go.
go ba. And I'm going to label my picture as sheep. That's word number six. Sheep. And there's my six words from the EEP or EEP word family endings. Ed word family. The words for this lesson have the ed word family ending. Ed. Ed has a short vowel e. I remember the E sound that's short by doing this motion as if, as if I'm rubbing an edge, eh, eh, edge, like the edge of a desk. Eh, eh, edge. Let's take a look at our first word, bed, b, eh, d, bed. Let's take a look at our next word, wed, w, eh, d. Wed. Let's do our next word. It's kind of like a name. Ted. T -e -d. Ted. Our next word has a digraph that goes shh. Let's do the word. Shed. Sh -e -d. Shed. Our next word is very similar, but we add another sound in it. Here's the word. Shred. Sh, er, eh, d, shred, shred. Here's our next word. Sled, s, o, e, d, sled. Here's our next word. Fed, f, e, d, fed. And one more word. Red, er, e, d. Red. Great job. Here we have the word family ending of ed, which makes the sound ed. Ed. Got my Play-Doh? So let's cover the letters. All right, I've got my ED covered. Let's add some letters to the front. If I put the letter B in front, I've got B, bed, bed. If I put an SH in front, which goes shh, shh, I get shed, shed, a small house, a shack, a shed. If I put the letter R in front, I get the word red, red. I could put the letter W in front. And then we get the word wed, wed, to be married, like a wedding, wed. We could put an SL in front, which goes sl, sl, sled, a sled. You go down a snowy hill on a sled, like a toboggan, a sled. I make that into a big capital T, I get the name Ted. Ted. Like, maybe your teddy bear is named Ted. Um, does somebody call my name? And 
If I put the letter F in front, I get fed. I fed my dog. Fed. Oh, let's see. Now, I, I fed the cow. Uh, no, I fed my kid. Did I feed the dog? Oh, does anyone remember? Was the dog fed? Did anyone feed the dog? <laughs> What words can you make from ED ending ed? So this week for spelling, we're looking at words that have the word family ending of E, D, which makes the ending ed. Let's write our title ed, E-D, and put the date up at the top for whatever day it is for you. And let's number for our words. Six words today, so one, two, and three down this middle edge. We can fold our page here, find the middle of the page, and it's right on that middle line that I'm gonna put my numbers four, five, and six. And I'm gonna have some mystery letters, so I'm gonna put some lines right after these numbers here. And that way I can put my mystery letters on them. But the ending of my word is always going to be the same. Every word is gonna end in ed or ed. So let's go ahead and put ed after each one of the lines. So number, line, E, D. Number, line, E, D. And notice I've skipped some spaces, so I've got lots of room to write my words. All right, let's take a look at some of our words this week. So we have words like bed, wed, that's to be married. Ted is a name, like Ted or a teddy bear. Shed, small tool shed. Shred, that's to tear paper up. A sled, kind of like a toboggan. How about a little motorcycle called a moped? Or just the plain old color, red. All right, let's go ahead and add in our mystery letters. Word number one is bed. So we need a b, b, b there, bed. Word number two is wed. So we need a w, 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 wed. Number three is going to be a name, and it's going to be Ted. Big capital T for Ted. Number four, we have a digraph that goes shh, shh. We make that with S, H. So we get shed, shed. We're gonna do the exact same thing again, but we're also gonna put an R in. So we've got our S, H, and this time an R, and we get shred, shred, shred. And we're gonna put the consonant blend for number six of S, L that goes soul, soul, sled. So we have bed, wed, ted, shed, shred, sled. I just need to draw a picture here. I think I might draw a picture of the color red by drawing a red crayon. Even put the word red to label my picture. And I'm gonna, of course, color that. So being that it's a red crayon, it's gonna get colored in red. Maybe we can make like a drawing line here. And there's my six words from the word family, ed. Well, it looks like I've got plenty of art supplies and tools on hand, so I guess it's time to do some quick art creations. Quick Art Creations
There's my red moped. Well, we've reached that time in our show when we need to acknowledge those words that did not make it into the episode. Here are those words. We would like to acknowledge words from the Eep word family, including Beep, bleep, creep, keep, peep, seep, steep, asleep, bo peep, knee deep, skin deep, beauty sleep, and oversleep. In the Ed word family, we would like to acknowledge the following words as well. Bread, ed, fled, led, sped, biped, bobsled, bunk bed, club med, co-ed, moped, purebred, spoon-fed, bottle-fed, infrared, overfed, water-fed, and pseudo-fed. Well, thanks for joining me, and I hope you learned something new and had fun doing the lessons. Join me next time on another episode of Lessons from the Classroom. Goodbye, Ted. Goodbye.